Hey guys, haven't done a uh, update video in a while on the blue teardrop. Haven't done anything to it all winter. It's just been too cold. Uh, what I wanted to show was the since I am using a Harbor Freight trailer for uh, for this build and my last build, uh, I'm just showing you the uh, upgrades I'm doing to it. Uh, the try to get rid of some of the weak points in the camper or the, the actual trailer. Um, because people know that the Harbor Freight trailers sort of have uh, a couple of failure points. Uh, one being where the uh, the tongue comes out this way, the you know the front part. Uh, it usually fails here, causing the whole trailer just to like snap right here. Because uh, originally they give you this to put in here. And if you're using um, using this for a camper, obviously you don't want you don't want you know that to fail here. Uh, so what I do on I'm doing on this build, and I did on my other one, is I uh, put a grade eight, four inch, five eighths uh, bolt through it. Uh, you will have to ream it out a little bit because it just barely fits. But as you can see, that with that in place, that's not gonna. It's not going to be a failure point, so you'll be you'll be good to go on that. Just run it right through, and you're good. Four inch might have been a little too long, but I needed the long shank on there. So, just something to consider if you're using a Harbor Freight trailer. <clears throat> just make sure you don't use this little crappy thing, because that's not going to do anything. And I've seen videos on YouTube and elsewhere where this is a major failure point so and your trailer is just gonna wobble around on it so obviously we don't want that so like i said just get yourself a big 5 8 bolt and obviously the washers and the nut for it and all that stuff and you'll be good to go um the other thing i haven't put on yet is the hubs and the reason for that is the hubs are another failure point on the harbor freight trailers as well as the wheels and tires recently had a recall on them because they are not rated for highway speeds and people are getting blowouts and all kinds of stuff with those so instead of just going to Harbor Freight with my recall notice and then getting you know newer ones I figured I'd do a little research and find better act or better hubs and better rims and tires so I went to my local trailer place. You probably have one in your neighborhood. You just gotta look around for them. But this is the one that I picked up. And this is the original uh, Harbor Freight, the hub, hub assembly. You can, you can automatically see the difference. And this is a Dana, I forgot the name of it. I didn't grab the paperwork. But it's a Dana hub. It's rated for, uh, I think 2,200 pounds. So, this is very heavy duty. So, you, you can automatically see the thickness even through here compared to, it's kind of dark in here, compared to that one, which is just, there's not much there compared to that. So, I repack the bearings, and you can also get new bearings for this. Yep, so I got the whole seals, bearings, everything for this. So this is ready for install. But I figure I'd show you guys first before I went ahead and installed it. But yeah, that's that's ready to go. So especially because this camper I'm working on now, I'm not keeping. So that one, that one's gonna be for sale as soon as I'm done. And I don't want anybody else having any issues with it, because that's it's got my name on it, you know. So I don't want. I'd, be, I'd feel horrible if somebody took their camper after spending so much money on it and then, you know, it failed. So I'm trying to negate all that. I want whoever, whoever to buy it, it'll be, you know, stress free knowing that it had uh, necessary upgrades to the trailer. And also for the uh, Harbor Freight trailers was the uh, lights, the trailer lights, the brake lights and all that. But I've never used those ones anyways. I always bought LED. After my, I even use the wires that came with the Harbor Freight. I get better ones. 
because and I, this one's also going to have a seven pin conversion on it so it's not going to have the flat four so but yeah but these the whole assembly for everything on this was i want to say like 44 bucks each so i'd rather pay the money and never have to worry about you know this being a failure point for somebody else because that would be horrible you know nobody wants a busted hub on a on a vacation you never know who's gonna own it you know i don't i just don't want that they don't want it so so you, and like i said you can also get extra bearings which they should keep whoever owns a trailer should know how to grease the bearings or at least get them done once or twice a year get them repacked grease but so that's that and also i found tires and there are actually rims and rims that fit the the uh, Harbor Freight trailers and they're very nice and I also found heavy-duty tires that are so thick that it <laughs> the sidewall on is so thick that they have a hard time putting them on so I had to put spacers like this in between the wheel and or sorry in between the tires you know to keep the tire open all the way around because what happens when you buy new tires they're the bead on the inside they're like close together and to spread them apart because they're so thick it, it took me and my wife to, to get it stretched far enough to put at least one of these in it was it was hard so we did that for the guys there so at the trailer place so they didn't have to fight with it but yeah so i'll show you the tire i got i'll put a link to the tire and rim i got them on amazon and they actually fit really good that's gonna look really nice I bought two sets of these, uh, one for this camper, and I also bought one one set for for my uh, camper, my teardrop. Uh, these are Kenda tires, Kenda Lodestar, and they have a rating of like, uh, where does it say, 1,200 pounds, just for these tires alone. And there's uh, four plies. I'm not kidding, this tire is like crazy, crazy thick. But they're nice. It almost makes it look like a car rim. It's gonna be very nice on that trailer, which I should have it done hopefully soon. I gotta hustle because we're uh, we're actually moving out of state, so I gotta get this thing done, hopefully sold before uh, before we move. Yeah, it's a very nice rim. Uh, the rim, I can't remember how much it was offhand. It really wasn't that expensive. It was like, actually, yeah, it was expensive. I think it was like 60 something bucks just for the one rim and the tire was 47 so yeah it's and then getting it mounted was another 23 bucks i believe it was i also include the valve stem so it, just for one it's 47 it's over 100 almost 130 bucks just for this and i got four of them so but that's how much i like it it's really nice like I said, if, you, if you're building a teardrop or have any, any you know, expensive cargo on there, I would definitely upgrade the rims because these are high, high speed rated as well as the tires. So, and they're, like I said, they're very heavy duty. Um, the tire pressure, it says 105, but while, while I was at the, uh, the trailer place, he put, I think it was 80 in there and it, it was leaking around the corners. Because these metal rim, these aluminum rims can't support 100 pounds of air in them, so we dropped them down to 60 psi each, and all the leaking stopped. And it's it's held held air, you know, just fine. But yeah, just wanna pass that along, and I'll put links to the rim and the uh, the tire. The hub, it, it was, I, didn't, I didn't get that on Amazon, so I couldn't leave a link to it because I got it at the local trailer place. So I just want everybody to at least be aware there's tire options and rim options for the uh, for the Harbor Freight trailers. Because I know they have a lot of issues. I mean, I've never had an issue with mine. Mine always run, you know, work pretty good. But, yeah. You know, I know I got to get finished painting the trailer once the rest of this is camper is done. Which hasn't been touched in forever. I just got the other half of the carpet to do and 
for this side of the ceiling here. And then I got, I have all the wiring tucked up in here because I got to, I got to do that once the carpet's in place. But yeah, this thing's coming off pretty sweet. It's going to be very nice. So, so I'm only putting a single battery on this one. And I'm going to put all the, uh, all the power is going to be in like a little, I'm making like a little box here that's going to house the light switches and you know, all the charging ports and everything. It's just going to be in this corner because I don't want to take up the whole space in here. I wasn't going to put shelves and everything in here, but it would just take up a lot of room. This is only four feet wide, barely. And I don't want to steal space when they can customize it the way they want. But I was thinking about putting a... Uh, a uh, TV mount on this wall because it, it is ready to go for a mount. I have a three quarter inch plywood right back here, so I could put a little TV mount right here, and that way, when they uh, if they want, they can uh, just throw a TV on there or just let them know that they can do it. And yeah, I'll probably do that, so that'd be an option. Yeah, like I said, all I got left to do was just this section here with the carpet. It's just been so cold this winter. Especially up in the northeast. I can't really put glue down because it's too cold. Now that it's warming up a little bit, I'm gonna just get this thing done. I need to get sold. Cause I don't want to lug this down when we move. And then I have two teardrops to contend with it and I have to rent a big trailer to put the little tear my my teardrop in it. So but yeah, I'll have this thing done hopefully soon and then build another one once I get down there. So, but yeah, it's looking good. Not much left to do, like I said. So, I gotta put the ring around there. Fan, it's all wired up, ready to go. And then take all that down. I use a spray adhesive, which I'm not doing again because that stuff smells so bad. And it just gets all over your skin and everything. It's, I'm not doing that again. So I'm going to put it on by, I got, I got glue I can put down by uh, with a brush. I'm just going to go ahead and do it that way. And then I got some molding pieces I got to put up around there. Cover the, the seam up. But yeah, uh, it might be a little too dark. But you can might be able to see the, uh, the recessed lighting in here. There's no battery. I have nothing powered up right now. But yeah, there's they're right there. It probably won't show up, but kind of dark. Yeah, it's got two recess lighting over there. I'm gonna have two more here, and this thing's gonna be ready to go. And it's got the outside porch light with the yellow already on it. I have a clear for it, but all right. I'll keep this video short. That's all I wanted. To touch on and still working on this thing and don't forget upgrade the bolts for that don't use a little pin on on those just don't do it five eighths four inch you're good to go and these really nice tires and rims and you can see by these are the ones that are on the recall so whoever buys this thing I'll give I'll give them that as a spare tire so Oh yeah, one more thing. If you use, if you do get this for your your, uh, your Harbor Freight trailer, you will need to update the lug nuts because the ones that come with it don't really fit in the hole. So what I ended up doing was getting the longer one. Compare it to the. Hang on one second. Compare it to that. These just don't really, because once they're in there, you really can't give a wrench on it. The sockets don't fit, so that's just not going to happen. So I had to get longer lug nuts. I got the good ones. These are like two fifty a piece. I bought ten of them for you know for both sides. It came to like twenty seven bucks, but a little long. But at least I can put a socket on them. And it'll, it'll look really nice on there. So I'll have no issue with these. But yep, so I'll leave a link to these and the tires and all that. And should be it.
And I'll post more once I get more along in the uh, get the build almost done so I get this thing sold. All right, guys, take it easy.